Okay, hello everybody. Hey, yo. welcome back to the Minecraft Let's Play. And today we have a lot of building to do. Um, today we, we are going to start a project in the Nether. We're going to create a Wither skeleton spawner, or not spawner, just a place where they can spawn freely. Um, and to do that, we need a lot of slabs probably do it with stone slabs and we're gonna be working in the nether so we're gonna need a set of armor Let's take the fire protection oh well it's like well no we won't because we have feather falling so we're gonna break out this protection because it can be very very dangerous there we're gonna bring a lot of potions uh we're just gonna try to get settle the land here. So we're going to need a lot of wood over there. Uh, so we'll take a lot of birch with us because that's what we have the most of. We're going to make a chest. We're going to make a little area. I'm going to kind of share with you guys how the planning process for me goes. Um, and it involves setting up a mini base, uh, like, you know, base of project operations where I can store all my stuff. And we're going to... We're gonna need a lot of fire resist potion, so we're gonna go take a quick look at the potion area to pick up. I got plenty of health potions. I'm probably gonna pick up a couple more fire resist just because blazes and the like can be very frustrating and annoying. We're gonna dump the rest of the stuff out here. So basically, what I'm gonna try to make is a large, large, large spawning area. Uh, for me to take down withers. Um, I've seen them in other Minecraft Let's Plays. I, I mean, I think I've only seen one super legitimate one. But, I mean, I'm not going to be super duper precise when it comes to this kind of thing. Uh, we're not going to need... I don't think we're going to need wildfire. I don't think we'll even need dirt blaster. We'll just need the grave digger. And then a really strong sword. We're not, we don't need the looting guy yet because we don't need it. But there's a bunch, there should be a bunch of stone over here in this thing. Uh, oh, yeah, baby. I remember showing this to you guys before. So we're, we're, this is how we're going to get started generally. Uh, we'll throw that guy back in there. So what we're going to do is kind of get all our tools gathered here and then I'm going to meet you guys in the nether and then we can kind of evaluate the area and see exactly what needs to be done because it'll be a lot of tearing down and a lot of rebuilding and could be a lot of deaths involved so hopefully that will be somewhat of an exciting episode so I'll meet you guys in the nether fortress that I've got picked out and we'll be right there Okay, so we're here in the nether fortress, and everything is creepy and weird, just like you would imagine it to be. I've kind of picked out the center-esque area of this. Um, and I think, I think it'll, it'll serve our purposes nicely. Just means a lot of buildings gonna open. It's gonna be a lot of you eventually. Nice. You are either really weak already, or this is a really strong bow. It's only power four. Kind of weird. Um, or maybe he fell. That's probably what happened. Um, so I've got a little bit of a place set up here, and now I'm just gonna start digging. Uh, the plan is we're just gonna clear out. All this area here into a nice big open space, and then we're gonna put a roof on it so freaking gas won't bother us. In addition to blazes and the like, um, and so we will be right back. Give me a second. Okay, quick update on the progress that we've got going on here. Gas are all clicking on top of us. Blazes are making noises that I don't like. And it's very, very dangerous all around here. Sorry if I sound a little bit out of breath, I had to quickly run a quick errand. But 
Basically, this is a quick update to tell you that I'm gonna work extensively on this and then we'll come right back and show you guys all the progress that I've got. And I've got a little bit more to show. So, hang tight and hopefully this right here will look significantly different in the next few cut. Okay guys, we are back, and as you can tell, it has looked significantly different from before. Um, I've spent a couple of days working on this, and essentially the approach I'm going for is lots and lots of space. With more space means more spawning platforms, and more spawning platforms means a higher chance of wither skeletons. Um, I've had a little bit of success, and by a little bit I mean I've had dudes spawn on here, even though it's not technically part of the nether fortress. But the thing is, the only thing that I've seen be spawned are pigmen, and maybe some blazes, and like groups of blazes. So, maybe it's just because the spawn rate is very, very low in the first place, that I haven't seen it, but... Initially, I said that the process wouldn't involve, you know, turning down all the other options, or not turning down, sorry, not options, um, like, destroying, not destroying, but canceling out other spawn pads, but I think that might be what I have to do. See, look, oh, we got a family of magma cubes. And blazes. Ow. Uh huh. See, there's definitely like enemies are being spawned, so that is not an issue here. See, look, there's even more that just spawned right in front of my face. We need to be careful. There are pigmen everywhere. Be very careful. Ah! Danger! <laughs> uh, okay, so definitely not the kind of danger we want, but let's just say it's been a little bit tough working here as I get this thing bigger because things like that they sp start spawning and I don't know they 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 inconvenience me. So. I took a, super, a break from the Supercut, otherwise I would have, you know, kept recording, or not kept doing this without, you know, bringing up the recording again. But the important thing that I think I need to cover, and this is what I was explaining with the planning phase during the first episode, is that even though I'm getting good, not good rates, but decent, ah, scared me, um, even though I'm getting decent rates here, the rates could be better. Um, and that would just, if I, if I can do anything to increase the odds of Wither Skeletons appearing, I guess I have to take it. Which means, um, the first step is once I get this kind of a nice big area enough, I'm going to start going up and down and covering everything in slabs. If you don't know, mobs can't spawn on slabs. So if I take away mobs' abilities to spawn in other areas, hopefully they will find this platform as the only place they can spawn, therefore giving us more wither things. So that's the first step, and the second step is I'm having issues with gas just, you know, trolling me, trying to get in where I'm trying to do my business. So another thing I'm going to do is cover this whole area with probably all the nether brick that I'm accumulating. So that's going to be step two, and then step three is just expansion. So I kind of like the square that I'm given. I'm going to bridge this to this, and then I'm going to hollow out this so it matches this, and I'm going to bring this all the way there. And I think that's going to be my initial... Oh, Ladies and gentlemen, we have our very first wither spawn so yes success this thing works and they didn't even spawn directly on the nether rack either uh we're gonna get rid of this guy because he's no bueno we're gonna get that guy angry 
I don't have my looting sword. But that, ladies and gentlemen, like means success. That's uh, this is seriously the first time I've seen Withers here, and I'm really glad I did because I was really getting worried that I don't know there's some sort of special algorithm that spawns Withers specifically. But that that was incredible that I actually got that on camera like during the first take. So that's good that this this works. Um, so I'm I'm even more confident in my plan now. I'm gonna expand from here to there, expand from here to there, pull that out. I've already had to repair Grave Digger once, my efficiency five pick. Um, but I guarantee you, it's not gonna be the last time I have to do it. So, anyways, that was a quick break, and but I'm gonna get back to you guys as soon as I get some more of the work done. Um, so we are gonna take a quick break. Well, you're gonna take a break. I am going to keep chugging along here so i shall see you guys in a quick second okay guys we are back from the nether because i got a lot of work done and as i was getting work done you know more mobs were spawning and as mobs spawn this happened boom my first wither head ever so that is one step down and two more to go till we get our first wither boss and our very first beacon but, so, I decided to take a quick break and I had to go get a bunch of half slabs and... Half slabs? I think they're just slabs. They're not... Are they called half slabs? They're just called slabs. Okay, so I had to go get back and get a bunch of slabs. Um, if you remembered from first episode, this did not look like this. I spent a little bit of time out of the nether and some nice bright day to get the aesthetic level of our home base up. And I'm really digging what I got going on here. Um, trying to get rid of torches, as you can see. Torches are an ugly thing. So I've got, you know, some... Oh, wow, my goodness. Uh, so I've got a lot of glowstone trees up, and I've got, you know, pumpkins hidden in bushes and the like. So definitely the threat level is much... Not much higher, but it's a little bit higher than it used to be. But I think it just looks great, and a little danger never really hurt anyways. So I'm going to try and plan to remove the torches from everywhere, although there really are a lot of torches that are just keeping this place safe. So but I'm going to be working in small sections. Otherwise, I just think I really like what I've got going on here. I'm going to start getting more flowers and the like, and maybe add something here or there. So I'm just going to end the episode right about here with our first wither head and... By the next time you see me, I'll probably have a lot more of the Nether Fortress done, and we can check up on that, and maybe we can get the rest of our heads together and really start. I guess when I get the beacon, not too many things are going to happen, because this is a pretty big place. If I'm going to beacon this place, I'm going to need a couple. But that's why I'm making that Nether farm, so I can get as many as I can. But a lot of plans in store. I mean, beautification of this. Um, trying a new crazy speed mining with the beacons maybe otherwise I got I'm really glad how I recorded this it's a lot different from what I've done before in the past uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed the episode and stay tuned next week for some more minecraft all right have a good day everyone